Well, welcome to our series, Creativity and Innovation for KM Programs. Today, our theme is creative leadership. My name is John Gerard, and I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Stephanie Barnes. Stephanie is a creativity and innovation consultant living in Berlin, but originally from Canada. Her background is as a painter, knowledge management consultant, IT process consultant, and accountant. She has two superpowers, using both sides of her brain, analytical and creative, and asking questions. Stephanie, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. Happy to be here. Great. What is the KM challenge today as you see it? I think, well, I'm not sure that it's changed in the almost 20 years that I've been doing knowledge management. Honestly, I think relevance, uh, you know, getting people to understand what it is and why it's important. You know, in 20 years, I don't know that we've come to a conclusion and, or a basic understanding about what knowledge management really means. I know in 20 years, I I can count on one hand and have fingers left over the the number of times I said to someone that I do knowledge management consulting and, you know, and they understood what that meant. Um, you know, so I think that that's, people see it as technology, people see it as people in process. They, they don't recognize, they want to put it in the IT department. They, you know, they don't really know where it belongs. It's all of these things and nobody really understands. And so it's, it's that relevance and that understanding of why they, why they should care. You know, I sometimes describe the enablers as technology leadership and culture, and you've written about creative leadership. Tell me what you mean by that. Yeah. Um, creative leadership is really about making everyone responsible for creativity um, and and doing things differently, not just asking them to capture knowledge and you know reuse a database, or use some um, technology. Um, it every it's creativity and doing things differently and questioning the status quo is, is everyone's responsibility. It's not just the person at the top of the hierarchy, um, which really is an idea that comes up in knowledge management as well in a slightly different context, at least if you're going to be successful with it. When you think about creative leadership, how is the environment different? Or maybe put a different way, why is creative leadership good for an organization? But I think we've spent so much time in our organizations being productive, being efficient, being effective. Um, and we've taken out all of the time for any kind of reflection and questioning. And, and it's just nobody has any time. We've got to all do it uh, now or, you know, yesterday. And creative leadership puts in that that time again the, for reflection, for asking questions, for challenging the status quo for saying, you know what, I have an idea, we should do it this way this time because you know the situation has changed, that best practice doesn't work anymore, or the customer has changed, our product has changed, something has changed, we need to adopt to this new environment. And creative leadership really re-injects that, that time that's been taken out. How can we bring this idea of creative leadership into our organizations? I think just by recognizing that people do need the time and supporting people with with taking the time, you know, deadlines and and all of that is very fine and you know and it's good and there's nothing wrong with that. But but give them the time um, to ask questions, time to fail, time to try things out and see if it works, um, time to say you know what we've been doing it like this for thirty years. I think maybe it's time we, you know, reevaluated this because, you know, technology has changed, people have changed, all kinds of things have changed in 30 years. Um, maybe it's time we we look at this and question this, and and so giving people the time to do that and encouraging that right down from all levels of management need to be encouraging people to take the time and taking them the the time themselves. So leading by example. Um, I know, and building in some time to, you know, it sounds funny, but time, time for play, time to take a break and talk to diff different people or, you know, take a, 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 some kind of a class or, you know, do something that's a little bit out of the or un ordinary and going to make people um, yeah, be a bit uncomfortable, but in a good way, um, you know, 
make them look at things a, a bit differently and instead of just rushing through things just to get it done so they can meet a deadline. Excellent. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your thoughts on creative leadership. Let's chat again soon. Yeah, that would be great. Thanks.